We're coming on the air with breaking news from just outside New York City after a multiple shooting at a supermarket in West Hempstead, Long Island. Police are saying at least one person has been killed. Two others are injured. Officials just briefed the media moments ago. At approximately 1119 this morning at the stop and shop at the 50 Cherry Valley Avenue here in West Hempstead, there was an active shooter. Right this time, we have one subject that is, has been killed and two others that have been wounded. The deceased is a male, approximately 49 years of age. The other two victims are at area hospitals right now. They are conscious and alert, speaking to law enforcement, and will wait to notification to family. We do have a person of interest. A person of interest. His name is Gabriel DeWitt Wilson. It's the best picture I can give you right now is on my phone. Gabriel DeWitt Wilson. Date of birth, 2-17-1990. He's got Long Beach and Hempstead addresses. He was or may still be an employee of the Stop and Shop. We're not sure. We're trying to confirm that now. He is a male black. He is six foot two. He is approximately 30 years of age. He's wearing a black baseball hat, a black sweatshirt, and he was last seen westbound here on the turnpike. We have over... 150 assets out here right now looking for Mr. DeWitt to question him about the, the events that occurred here today. Um, he did have a... That update moments ago from the Nassau County, New York, uh, a police department about this shooter now on the, lar on the run. We're joined by NBC News analyst Evan Coleman right now. Evan, put this into context for us. This comes after weeks and weeks of mass shootings in this country, most recently Indianapolis, another workplace uh, shooting. How do you even begin to track and find trends and patterns and prevent these kinds of things? It's very difficult. I mean, even if you just look at the latest incident in Indianapolis, there are so many different conflicting threads. It's tough to pay attention. I mean, there are some arguments the shooter had mental problems. There are some arguments he might have been a follower of white supremacists. There's even been an argument that he's part of an online community of, of, of My Little Pony supporters. It's, it's very difficult. Not all of these folks have anything in common. The one thing that does seem to be in common is, is mental problems or, or is issues with mental stability. Um, and it does bring us back to the question about how easy is it to get a weapon here in this country? And should it be so easy that individuals with problems with their employers can simply resort to violence in order to resolve them? Uh, you know, this certainly does resemble a, a classic workplace shooting. Uh, it took place at the workplace, it involved management, it involved a possibly disgruntled employee. Um, it shouldn't be this easy. Um, you know, we spend billions of dollars trying to protect Americans from terrorist threats abroad, and we don't seem to be dedicating nearly as much interest or attention towards much more mundane threats here in this country. All right, Evan All right. Coleman, thank you for joining us again. The search underway in Nassau County, New York, after a shooter uh, killed one person, wounded two others at a, a grocery store in the office area. The suspect believed to either be a current or former employee at that, uh, at that shopping chain. We'll continue to monitor developments. We'd come on, of course, if uh, warrants, uh, if, if uh, moments uh, warrant uh, further coverage. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, New York. Good day. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.